All right, I thought I was done with this thing, but now still overheating. So the fans aren't getting kicked on by the ECU. I don't know why. Um, now, if you have the AC on the dash up front, the AC is fine. It blows nice and cold. You turn it to uh, put the rear AC on, and it blows out warm. It, it just stops running. So I don't know what the hell. So I tore this apart. Back here, this is the rear air box, and there's another rear evaporator back here. <clears throat> to get this off, there's a million screws that go all around the whole air box. So I just Phillips head screws, and I just unscrewed everything, and this whole box comes off. And there's your fan. And then here's your stuff. Well, here's an evaporator, I guess. I don't know what, oh, this is probably heater. Yep, there's a little heater. I don't know what that is. There's some thing. There's a bunch of uh, modules and whatever else back under here. But what you want to get to is <clears throat> this right here. That's the expansion valve for the rear. Ah, looks like an Allen key. And I just take that off and change o-rings and put the new one in now let me make sure that the new one looks the same so it goes like this yeah it looks the same okay okay so i need to recover the out of here now again i have it charged so i had to recover the freon get an allen key take that out new o-rings put it back in and then vacuum it down, charge it, and we'll see where we're at then. That's the only other thing I haven't. That's the only thing I didn't touch. Oh wow, that's kind of nasty. Shit, I probably should get a new rear evaporator. Oh man, this is the one that was working. That looks gross. Well, this is what I'm gonna do. I don't know how this is stuck in there. No, it just comes out. So when I take this out, I'm going to take this, I'm going to flush it out and see if this is just crud on there or if it's actually the condenser um, decaying. If it's the condenser decaying, I will order a new one and put it in there. Uh, but let's see what happens. All right, it's been a couple days. I got the new rear evaporator. Let's compare it. You can see through it. Let's compare it with the old one. Here's the old one. Can you see through it? Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, you can see through it. I clean. I tried cleaning it out as much as I could. Um, this side doesn't look bad. But this side is the bad side, and you can see some of the fins are all the fins, whatever are all uh, pushed in and it's just it's just falling apart so i thought it's just junk and then up here so i don't know if this is leaking could be it doesn't look good so it would be best to get a new one so here's a new one compared yeah it looks perfect it looks like it's gonna work fine i don't know if this has o-rings in it i might have to replace the o-rings so let's let's go take the um Get Allen key and take that out. Where the hell is it? Four. Let's see. I'm just gonna take this out and it's a different side. Oh no. Let's see if there's uh, O rings in here. Let's see if they vacuum. Let's see if they vacuum vacuumed out or put something in there. The uh, condenser had some gas or something in it. Vacuum. I don't know what. Something came out of it. Nah, nothing. Oh no. There we go. So it was pressurized with something. That's fine. And it already has O-rings on it. So it looks like it had these little plugs in there. This plug, this plug shot right out. This one's still in there. I don't know why I'm struggling just to grab up. 
I don't know why I'm struggling. Let's grab a tool. There we go. Okay, so I just have to go put this back into the, the car, the van. I'm going to put some oil around here. I don't know where I put the oil. Some oil around here. And new expansion valve right here. Put that on. Put it in the uh, vehicle. Get this in and then vacuum it down and we'll go from there. Uh, we'll see if this fixes it. All right, I got the evaporator in. Another pain in the neck. It's a pain in the neck because these hoses here, these lines, bent or moved or something. So it wasn't lining up 100%. So it was a pain. What I wound up doing was taking the expansion valve, putting it on these two lines, then pushing the, the evaporator in, then putting the uh, these two lines with the expansion valve onto the evaporator. And then I put the two uh, Allen bolts and slowly pulled, screwed it in, making sure that it wasn't cross-threaded or anything like that. I need to go over here and fix this here. This has to go in and gets connected on the other side. It says for the rear evaporator to have one ounce and one third of oil. So here's the thing. I put it in there and as soon as I turned it up this, this way, I think all of it came out. So what I'm going to have to do is when I do these lines here, on, when I go on the outside, which is over here, I don't know if you can see it. No, you can't. I got I to gotta lift it up and get in there. I'm going to put the fluid in through here and uh, I don't know how I'm going to get in the evaporator. There's only so much that's going to fit in this line. I might just dump it in the line going back. I don't know. I got to see. It's supposed to, have some, it's supposed to have some oil in it. Um, yeah, I can't see how I can get, I mean, some oil got in there. I tried, I tried swishing it around and I did my best, but still a whole bunch spilled out. If yeah, if I got the, if I had the light, cause I put, um, the UV stuff in there, you'd see this is all glowing. <laughs> it's all leaked, all this dark, it's all leaked on there. I tried wiping it up, but it's going to be there. Uh, so yeah, I'll, I'll I'll come back when I when I'm connecting this piece on the outside. There's not like another bulkhead, and there's some uh, O-rings that I think I have to replace over there also. So there were there were, I, like I said, there was I replaced these O-rings, and then the O-rings that already came on the evaporator. So these are all these are new O-rings, and I got to replace there's some stuff over there. I got to replace. Anyway. That's the update for right now. And what I'm doing is to put the measuring it here with the syringe, one ounce and a third. Um, I put a little bit of dye and I put the rest of the oil and it spilled all over. But it's getting there. Put that together. Um, I'll have to vacuum it, vacuum down the system and charge it and i'm just gonna leave this all torn apart actually when i'm vacuuming it down i think i'll put the air box back on maybe well i'll look to see if it's holding vacuum and then i'll put the air box back together because if i put the air box back together and it's leaking over here it's gonna be a big pain in the neck so i want to make sure it's not leaking i'm just trying to do something with that half hour 45 minutes of vacuum time Anyway, all right, let me uh, keep on moving. All right, I think we got it. I have this fan blowing on the front, cool it down. Low side is like, I don't know, 42, high sides to 210 maybe. It's about 90 degrees outside. You look at my little chart here. But look at my chart here, 90 degrees. The low side should be at 45 to 55, and then the high should be 250 to 270. So I might need a little bit more. I put two cans of this in, so that's what, 24 ounces? So I think I'll, I'm going to try for a little bit more. 
Um, yeah, let's see. Temperature is 55 degrees with the rear going. I got the rear back open. You know what? Let's close the rear hatch. Um, when you take this, this is all put back together. When you take this off and you put it back on, it was a little challenging, challenging to get on. The evaporator, I had to get the evaporator in first. First time I put it, there's a little flap right here. It goes like this, opens and closes. And it's supposed to be in there. I put it all together, this whole air box on. And air was blowing out of here. I'm like, what? That doesn't seem right. And I can notice there was something there. I'm like, oh, it was a flap. I had to pull it all, all apart again. I fixed the flap. What I did was I stuck a little screwdriver while this was all loose into that hole, into that hole there and manipulated it as I was putting the air box back on. Air box fits back on better now. Before it was, pu it was pushed out a little bit because this was down here or somewhere. But everything's hooked up. The only thing that's not here is the panel and I'm waiting for a minute. Uh, these here, when you have the car running, are hot. This is for the heater. So there's a little tiny heater core in here. You probably saw it. Actually, I think it's right here. And there's like foam separating it, but it's always hot. So anyway, that could be why the temperature difference. But let's close this hatch. The only thing I, I still have to do is put this um, mud flap on and whatever all these screws are. I go on the inside liner. I got to do the liner. But that's that's it for and the, the uh panel just snaps on okay so let's see what we got as far as temperature so we're at still at it's at 55 with the rear on turn it off it has 173,000 on it check engine light it's i looked it up it's um o2 sensors and stuff but i'm not dealing with that right now See, is this all the way high? No, it's not high. I did one step below high. And I have it cranked down as far as it can go. Temperature's good. I have the fans hooked right up to power. Yeah. Now the flap is working. You can hear it. The flap's slowly opening before. It was just blowing air. As soon as I hit that, it's blowing air the whole time because the flap was not closing. All right, I think I'm gonna put a little bit more in. I'll come back and see where we're at. Okay, well, this is it. It's all about, it's almost been all back together. All I have to do is put this piece on, this panel. I'm leaving it off right now in case there's other issues. But for now, I'll just leave this panel off. I'm gonna drive it around, test drive it, make sure everything's okay. The panel was kind of a pain to come off and there's a bunch of push pins and it kind of broke this deal over here. I didn't know how it came out. It's this one right here. That's the only uh, one that got got broken. All, right, all the other clips and everything was fine. But I don't want to just keep taking this thing on and off. It's plastic. You know, it's not... Who knows how long it's going to last. Anyway, I'm going to go for a test drive and see how it is. I, th I think it's pretty much fixed. Um, I don't know if, if this flap is moving. That might be an issue because it is blowing a little bit warmer out from the rear vents. So what happens is you have your heater core here and then the evaporator is down here. So this cools, this gets cooled off. It's hot up here and the cold air, you got the, your blower here, right? Comes this way, blows here, goes over the condensed, the evaporator, goes over to the evaporator, comes up, goes this, comes up, goes this way and it goes to the top vents. But I, I can't imagine, I mean, you have this hot, heater core sitting right here that is heating up this whole area even the cold air that's going over it so i'm assuming that they must there, there there is like foam and stuff here but still this is this is hot this was hot enough to burn me and uh it the air is passing right by so it's got to be getting warmed up anyway i'm gonna put it back together we're gonna test, test drive that's it for this whole debacle with this uh this is a minivan. Okay, well, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, if you want to, if you like the video, hit the like button, please. And if you want to 
see what's going to happen any other problems with this thing or when i do more maintenance and repairs on this thing hit the subscribe you'll and you'll uh you'll see the new videos and if you want to be notified hit the notification bell and when i do post a new video it'll pop up right away and tell you that i have a new video anyway thanks a lot i'll talk to you later see you in the next video bye